so I finally got around to installing the cams that I've had sitting in my garage for, I don't know, a couple years now. So these are the uh, GSC S2 cams. And while I was in there, I did a bunch of other upgrades while I had essentially the front of the engine off. So I went with the GSC S2 cams. I upgraded the springs to the GSC Beehive design, as well as put new valve stem seals in. And then while I had the front off, added in the PHR cam gears, and that's a, a Gates timing belt. And then down below, you can't really see too well, but I did the um, PHR pulleys. As well as a fluid damper um, crank pulley, welded the timing gear. Um, all new seals, put new cam seals in, new front main seal in, as well as new water pump with the PHR lower water neck rotation kit. And I don't know if you can see down there, their little branded lower radiator hose. And then my old radiator was essentially busted, so I just went with the, the PHR aluminum racing radiator, upgraded to the uh, the one up coolant reservoir. It's one of the few ones that actually fit with the stock battery, so you don't have to look, relocate anything. It's actually a really nice design. Also comes with a little level that most uh, coolant overflows don't have. But overall it looks, everything looks amazing so far. Everything's um, working as it should. One thing to note is, I don't know if it was because of the PHR um, cam gears and the aftermarket belt, but this little tab down here, you can't really see. Won't focus, but there's a little belt guide down here that was essentially rubbing on the belt. So I just had to pry it back a little bit to give it a little bit more clearance. I guess also the um, PHR bolts on the front for the cam bolts. And then also while I had the cams out, I went and upgraded to the uh, shimless buckets as well, and also had those. Um, DLC coated as there's been I guess a controversial issue with the new bill of cams I guess damaging the similar material um, buckets so if you add the coating to it it's supposed to at least help with wear if you heard these uh, these engines with the uh, the GSC S2 cams they're they sound amazing Overall, very happy with the whole setup. I'm still running a stock ECU with a, a small piggyback on it, surprisingly. And even with these uh, fairly large lift cams, it still works. The cold starts a little bit rough. It seems to want to stall out and die at some point, so I'm still fiddling with the piggyback to see if I can get it any better but so far I've been able to uh, get it up and driving around but at this point I think it's time to finally go to a, a real standalone unit the piggybacks worked for years now but I think I'm finally getting to the point where it's uh, reaching its limits so the last thing to do is essentially upgrade the turbo I have a 7675 I want to put on here. This is the uh, 6766. So once I do that, the setup should be pretty much done. And then I feel like then I can finally get a quote unquote real tune. So if you haven't followed around, this is a, essentially a stock bottom end. Now I just upgraded the head. So it's stock bottom end with a precision 6766. Um, upgraded fuel to the um, ID 1300s with a PHR uh, 
double pump fuel hanger in the back and at around 29 30 pounds of boost this car made a little under 740 horsepower and that was all on the stock ECU with a piggyback and that was with the E85 fuel so you don't need anything really crazy on these cars to pull out a bunch of power and I mean the drivetrain this is a original six-speed car so really the drivetrain all you really need to do is upgrade the clutch which is, has the uh, RPS twin carbon clutch which has been holding up really nice but other than that you strap turbo um, upgrade the fuel bigger intercooler and that's essentially all you need with proper fuel, E85 or some type of uh, race gas to be able to raise the boost up enough to to get the power level you want. But overall, very happy with this car. I mean, these supers are just so awesome. Is just a dump of all the parts essentially either replaced or taken off as part of this upgrade old timing belt timing gears bolts water pump coolant reservoir the old tensioner bracket crank pulley this is the new uh, tensioner and bracket bracket that I removed to put on the PHR same thing with the uh, old timing gear 